I'm Kristen. I am the advisor for our International Air and Space Program. And I'm here today with Maya to do one of NASA's at-home experiments and activities. Maya's going to help me out. Maya, can you tell me what we have here? We're going to be building a hovercraft. Two empty water bottles, a couple of balloons, some CDs, and a hot glue gun. And we also need some scissors and some safety boxes. Perfect. Today we're going to be building a hovercraft and learn about friction. So the first step is we take our water bottles. Um, the instructions online say you use a spout top. We don't have that, but we've tried it out and we found we can use just the end of a regular water bottle. So all we want is this nozzle piece to cut off the end. So we'll do that now. So Christian's gonna glue the two of these onto the CD and then it's gonna be on the disc. Simple, just like this. So now your CD has a nozzle. There you go. One more. After that, Maya is going to blow up a balloon. Well, how much do you want your hovercraft to go? Um, I don't know, it's really long. Really long time, okay. All right, so once you have your CD with your nozzle, you're going to inflate with your balloon, which is going to be your source of air to make it a hovercraft. All right, now I need your help for this. You have to hold right here so our air doesn't escape before we put it on to our CD. And then you stretch the balloon around the nozzle. Now, when Ready? Mm -hmm. When you release, now you have a hovercraft. Now that Maya has her balloon inflated, I'll hold it and you can stretch your balloon. My also broke. Uh oh. Technical difficulties. If your balloon breaks, you can just stretch it down a little more. Pull it down on there a little more. So that the hole is over the nozzle. Got it? Here, I'll do mine and we can battle. Wow. Oh, I was able to do that myself. Oh my goodness, look at you. There we go. I wonder if you can blow it up from the other way now, through the CD. There she goes. Ready? Ready? Three, two, two, one. <laughs> okay, so this can work. You just have to put it on, not blow it. You, so you can do it by yourself. You have to use a disc, and then you just blow from the back. Like that. I just make sure it doesn't not pop. All right, 
a normal CD versus a balloon. This is gonna show us how much that layer of air cushion helps the CD glide across the table because it has less friction. One, two, three. There we go. So as you can see, a balloon helps because it has air to push it more. Yeah. And also see the it just soft like that. Exactly. So it created an air cushion. Yeah, so it kind of made it double the distance. What's interesting is that is called ground effect. And the hovercraft, a real hovercraft, flies in what's called ground effect by pushing air down below it, causing lift on the object so that it can glide across the surface. Subscribe to EXA Aerospace and EXA Educational Programs. Bye! AEXA, la empresa aeroespacial mexicana.